and welcome back to another video of Magna FX. We have received some positive feedback on our previous videos and we are glad our videos are helping you in a way. Today I'll be explaining three graphs. These three graphs will represent three traders. The beginner trader which is the typical trader, the intermediate trader which is the break-even trader, and the professional trader which is the profitable trader. I'll be explaining the psychological makeup of these three traders and why their graphs are shaped like that. Hope you learn from this video. Okay, we start with the beginner trader or the typical trader. As you can see, our beginner trader or typical trader lacks strategy and lacks psychology. Here on our Y axis, we have profit and on our X axis, we have time over time. So as the beginner trader is starting, he will start with profit over time. Then the beginner trader will start to lose his profit and will start to lose his money. Here, his curve is going upwards because the beginner trader is not or has not fe yet felt the pain of losing money in the markets. This beginner trader does not know how it feels to lose money in the market. He has no pain or he has no memory of pain from the market. He is not, he executes his trades without thinking twice. He just, he just sees a setup and executes his trade on whatever he sees. But over time, when he starts, when he has his first loss, you can see he has a win again. So it's more like a downtrend. He has a win, then he has a loss. He has a win, then he has a loss. He has a win, then he has a loss. Win, loss. Then over time, he will continue losing because he is scared of entering trades and does not have a strategy. So, what are the mistakes this typical trader makes? These mistakes are improper strategy. This typical trader comes into the forex market thinking the forex market is a get-rich-quick scheme and finds out that it is not. So when he comes into the market and sees people online who sell the wrong information about the forex market, he comes into the forex market thinking he can make a thousand dollars easy this is why he comes in with an improper strategy the typical trader also lacks a plan he has no plan as he's still thinking that forex will make him money overnight but this is not the case he finds out later on that this is not the case he's a we come down to his approach to the market his approach to the market is wrong he approaches the market thinking the forex is a get rich quick scheme and when this thought or when this dream does not come into reality as quick as, as he thought he will unleash all his emotions towards the market therefore making his curve a downtrend here is the consistency threshold he fails to achieve consistency in the market because of his approach to the market he has an he has an improper strategy he lacks a plan we come down to risk management this typical trader does not know what risk management is because he may have gone on YouTube and searched for what Forex is and he, may, he might have learned three combinations of different strategies from different gurus he sees online with most views and comes into the market without first interpret, without first calculating his risk into, when entering the market. He just executes trades without thinking twice about his risk or what he will gain. He is just thinking of the money he will make from the market. He is not thinking of uh, earning the money in percentages or in pips. This is how Forex is supposed to be approached. You have to think of gains or losses in percentages or in pips. It's just like, it's just, for, Forex should be approached just like any other business, a normal business. Think in percentages, think in pips. If you are earning 2% per month, you're a profitable trader. Always look for that one setup in a week that will make you, that will earn you profit. Sorry. So we come to psychology. The psychological makeup of this typical trader is not that of a professional trader. As this typical trader has no experience about the market or has not been guided about what Forex actually is. He comes into the market thinking he will buy a supercar by next week. 
his psychology is very weak. He is susceptible to emotional trading when his dreams are not fulfilled. So, he then lacks emotion-free trading. A trader should always lack emotion. Get me again. A trader should always lack emotion. Never bring your emotions into the market as your emotions will always cloud your judgments about the information the market is trying to give you. Always trade from a logical standpoint. Always trade from your plan. This is why it is important to have a plan. When you have a plan, you always know what you are risking. You always know what to think when you are approaching the market. You always know what you are aiming for. When you come into the market without a plan, you will surely be crushed. So, signals. The typical trader goes for signals because he are, because he has learned that the market will not give him, will not make him rich as quick as he thought, and he will seek to looking for the signal services sold online by these people that say they can make them fifty dollars a day. This is wrong. From what I have been explaining about psychology, you will know for yourselves that you cannot make money consistently every day. Always look for an opportunity that the market has shown you and take advantage of that opportunity. Never chase the market. The mar let the market come to you. Hope you understand what, what I'm saying. So this typical trader looks for signals from his gurus and buys those signals hoping he will get rich overnight. And over time he will find that even though he buys signals, his psychology is not still on point to make him a profitable trader. And the signal service that he's bought is not giving him the money he is expecting. So, we come down to comparing analysis. A typical trader always compares his analysis. Whenever he is analyzing a trade, or whenever he has analyzed a trade, he will always look to compare his analysis with those people he thinks of gurus, thinking his analysis might be wrong. And when he trades that when he trades against his analysis, he finds that his analysis was actually correct and cuts his trade early, then enters his analysis. Mind you, when he enters his analysis, he will be risking more because his stop loss will be higher, somewhere far than his entry point. I am sure some of you can relate to what I'm saying right now. So unwanted trades. This comes from always wanting to enter the market. A typical trader always wants to be in the market. He always wants a trade to be running. This is because of the dopamine rush he gets whenever he sees profits. Whenever he sees one tick in red, one tick in blue. He always, he always wants that emotional roller coaster. He always wants to see himself in a trade. And therefore, he does not have a specific point of entry or specific point of entries he has for the market. He does not analyze the market very well to the point where he can execute his trades flawlessly. Okay, we then come to the intermediate trader or the break-even trader. This trader has strategy but lacks psychology. This trader is called a break-even trader because he neither loses money nor gains money. This trader fails to pass this trader fails to pass the consistency threshold over time because of the mistakes he makes in the market. The mistakes this trader makes are lack of emotion-free trading. This trader does not trade without emotions. When this trader gets whatever he's not expecting, he will trade from an emotional standpoint and these emotions will cause him to make errors that make him fail past this consistency threshold. I will make a video on the emotions that make traders fail to cross the consistency threshold. Then we come to overconfidence. This trader, after a series of winning trades, develops too much confidence and this too much confidence will make the trader increase his lot size on his next trade. After he increases his lot size, this trader forgets that any trade can lose. And when his trade loses after increasing his lot size, he will find out that he has wiped out his account or 
he needs more or he needs more trades to make up for the loss he has made greed this trader has greed this trader does not have a specific target in the market which comes down to a lack of risk management plan although this trader's system may be working this trader does not have a specific target and when the market continues going into his direction he lets the trade run and sometimes the trade may come back to his entry or it may even go as far as taking him out of the market and leaving him with a loss this also affects his consistency making him remain in this range bound graph this trader lacks a risk management plan he does not know how much he is risking on a particular trade and he also does not know how much he will earn on a particular trade he does not know he has no specific goals for himself in the market this is what will make him remain in this consistency in this consolidation graph this trader also lacks a trading plan which consists of all these mistakes he makes if he has a trading plan he will not be trading from an emotional standpoint he will not have over he will not increase his lot size after a streak of wins and he will know exactly what he is aiming for in the market this is why i'm i am emphasizing on traders having a trading plan i will post an example of a trading plan where some of you can learn how to make a trading plan so from this trader this is where you can see that trading is 80 percent psychology and 20 percent strategy although this trader has a strategy he lacks psychology this is why his graph is in a consolidation zone or remains in a consolidation zone because he does not have the right attitudes and beliefs about the trading market this is what magnet effects will be doing will be helping traders unlock their potential of trading by changing their psychology okay we then come to the professional trader this trader has the right strategy and has the right psychology that allows him to break the threshold of consistency over time. The traits that this trader has are this trader has emotional strength. This trader accepts that no trade is guaranteed in the market and accepts that anything can happen in the market. He fully understands it and accepts it to his core. When you accept that anything can happen in the market, whatever result you get from the market will not have an effect on your emotions because you will know that it is part of that this is just part of trading. Whether you win or whether you lose, you will always be he will always whether he wins whether he loses, he will always be neutral to any emotional effects. He has no euphoria after he wins. He has no fear after he loses he has no fear or pain after he loses this trader also has a plan written down he has a plan that guides him and guides his actions in the market this allows him to stay consistent over time when you have a plan it will guide you on the actions you must take in the market traders that do not have a plan do anything they want in the market and this makes them fail to break the threshold of consistency when you have a guide and when you have a written down plan that guides you with your actions in the market you will not be making irrational mistakes this trader has also understood the risk risk in trading is not you losing money the risk in trading is of a probable outcome trading is trading is all about probability that's the paradox of trading when you accept the risk in trading and execute trades according to your plan you find out that you are profitable over time this is just like a soccer game 
or a soccer league. This is just like a soccer league. Over time, the winner wins the league, right? But for them to win that league, they have encountered losses. But what has kept them going is their mentality and their attitude towards the next game. They believe that the game being played now has no connection to their previous game and they have the mentality that they are going to win the game according to and they are, they are going to win the present game according to their plan and according to their strategy this is the man, this is the mentality that you need to bring into trading when you understand that trading has a nature of probability you will not have any hesitation when executing your trades whether your previous three trades were losses or whether your previous trades were wins the other trait of a profitable trader is that a profitable trader controls his actions. A profitable trader controls his actions by creating beliefs and attitudes that do not compel him to act from an, irrati from an irrational standpoint. When you have the correct mental attitudes in trading, you will not commit the errors that are being committed by you right now. Some errors being committed by you right now are from the wrong mental attitudes or, and the wrong beliefs that you have about trading. He executes his trades without fear, as I have already explained. A professional trader executes his trades without fear. He accepts the risks that come with trading overall, and he accepts a random distribution between wins and losses that define an edge. That's what defines an edge, the random distribution between wins and losses though your wins have to be more than your losses for you to define your edge you will definitely have losses this is the nature of trading but what keeps you long enough in the market is your risk management and your plan when you have the correct risk when you have the correct risk management and you have the correct plan and you have the correct mental attitudes you find out you find yourself being in this set of traders the professional trader. When you have the right beliefs and mental attitudes about trading, you will find out that you execute your trades without fear than the way you are executing your trades now. You are executing, right now, some of you might be executing your trades with fear or some of you might be standing out of the market because you are connecting or you are associating your previous trades with the trade now. What you people have to understand is that every present situation is unique from the previous situation. Just execute your trade from your strategy and let that trade run, keeping in mind the correct risk management. I hope you people have gained knowledge from this video. You can like and subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you.